Hey, are you wondering which NLP book is best? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to answer that question for you now. All right, so welcome back. And in this video, again, we're going to be talking about which NLP book is best. So that's such a great question and there's a lot of different options when it comes to NLP books. And of course, as I say this throughout all of my videos, NLP is such a big field, you really do need to uh, set forth an outcome of what you wanna get from that book prior to choosing one because the specializations are many fold, okay? So some of my best authors, the ones that I recommend the most is I lean toward L. Michael Hall because I really enjoy his, the specificity of his writing style and it's very thought provocative. And of course, I love the Metastates model as well. So some of my recommendations are the user's manual for the brain, part one and two. User's manual for the brain, the first book includes all of the information that you would get from the regular NLP practitioner training and the part two book is what you would get from the master practitioner training. Now, I also talk about this in other videos as well. NLP practitioner training is usually a fairly standard certification. Most of the information is similar amongst most certifications. So you'll see that reflected on a lot of the books. The master level can vary quite a bit. Some trainers focus on certain types uh, or aspects of the model and others focus on others. So that is uh, something that a bit of a challenge because you have to comb through the materials to find out which ones you want to uh, learn about the most. But I find that Michael Hall's book is fairly extensive and you could literally take six months to a year reading this book and implementing a lot of the stuff that he talks about inside. Okay, so for, that's very heavy reading. Michael Hall's books are very dense, but I do recommend them. And I think that they're the most comprehensive writing on neuro-linguistic programming that you will find in book format. Now, if you take a step back from that and you wanna have more uh, personal development life coaching materials, then you're gonna to wanna to check out NLP Comprehensive's books. Okay, so uh, probably I think in 1994, NLP Comprehensive, uh, New Technology of Achievement is a great book. Again, it's fairly dense. I think it's in the neighborhood of 400 pages. It's got a lot of information in it, but I think that it does a great job as really laying out the field of neurolinguistic programming and also giving you as the reader, not necessarily practitioner training knowledge, but more as the receiver, the end user of neurolinguistic programming information, how to implement it in your own life. So it's got a lot of drills and so forth in there, uh, practice things that you can use to help uh, your own personal development. NLP Comprehensive also launched another uh, neurolinguistic programming book. I think it came out in the early 2000s, The Essential Guide. That is also very, very good. And I think that a lot of authors in the NLP field have really worked a lot harder to write more um, digestible books that the general population can read about neurolinguistic programming because one of the things that we oftentimes struggle with is because there's so many techniques, there's hundreds of techniques at this point and patterns inside the NLP model. So given having all of that stuff thrown at you at one time is very overwhelming and confusing, especially when we don't really understand uh, how to use one pattern versus another pattern. And that really requires the help of a qualified NLP practitioner who's done the trainings and really has experience with all of them. So I think those books are very, very good. Along the same spectrum, Richard Bandler's reads always entertaining. Uh, Richard writes in a style that is not exactly this left brain linear kind of format, but always love reading his books. Um, Using Your Brain for a Change was a classic, I believe it was 1984. It's a very funny read to show you NLP application just kind of live in practice. And some of the other books that Richard has put out are almost transcriptions from seminars that he has done along with John Grinder. And those are always entertaining reads, but they're not something I would spend a lot of time on in terms of really learning NLP because a lot of the newer books are much better at that. But forever, uh, for whatever reason, if you can get a hold of some of those older books, they are entertaining reads and kind of give you insights into some of the originators of NLP and how they used to think and apply some of these techniques. So to sum it up, NLP books, a lot of them, L. Michael Hall, Richard Bandler, of course, NLP Comprehensive, those are my favorite books. And of course, there's lots of other great ones out there that I did not review, but I'll make sure to include a link down below that you can access, take a look at some of the other book reviews and so forth that I recommend for neuro-linguistic programming. So if you like this video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up, 
hit the like button down below, and of course, comment below, subscribe to the channel so you can get notified anytime I launch any of these new videos, and of course, course recommendations, discounts on trainings, and so forth. Last but not least, make sure you check the description box and or the first comment underneath this video, and I'll link to some of the things that are my favorites currently right now. So this is Sam Visnick. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.